But first, according to today's Sun's newspaper, girls who want bigger breasts are going to be given the opportunity to test drive a new pair before going under the knife. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? To make sure they're the perfect fit, they uh, get to choose the shape, the size and the feel of their new bust by putting on a new vest that's uh, got their made-to-measure boobies in them. And then they just kind of, you know... Yeah, right, oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my own out. This is what God gave me. Uh, but if you could have your dream boobs, would you be interested in vest driving them? Would I test drive new boobs? You Where would they them. fit? I was going to say, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in the car with you. <laughs> Airbag vest. It would be like What airbags? about test driving smaller boobs, though? Uh, or how can I test drive smaller boobs? I have no, to I top mean, mine off. But... I know, but I mean, <laughs> would you like to feel what it's like not to, you know, have something heavy and weighted in front of you? Like, like... Sherry, can't you? Know? <laughs> you know what yes, I mean, Yes, I though? know what you mean. I would, I've sometimes thought, I wonder what it's like to just have normal size boobs, because yeah. mine have, or, since the age of 13, really, I've always had big boobs. 13. I know. But Do I you want to think... wash under them? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered with big ones. <laughs> Forget just to give them a lift and a scrub. To do that when I'm washing my knees. <laughs> Put the flannel on the end and they do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's funny because you get all these girls going, I really want big boobs, and then you get girls with big boobs saying, I really want small boobs. I don't think you're ever satisfied. But as long as my husband's satisfied, that's all that matters. Oh, yeah, because his happiness is, Can I is all you worry about, Paul. I know it's a bit of a personal question, oh, this. Go. Go but if you've got great big things like you've got, like <laughs> Barry, <barrel, laughs> you know what I mean, though? Do they drop I think quicker? Kind of jealousy creeping in here. Yes, do Sherry. they drop quicker than smaller ones? That's all I'm saying. Well, obviously, because they're heavier. But I wonder. You just they... buy longer socks. They're talking. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I mean, not... my my yeah. boobs are, are nothing, obviously, like like Colleen's. But mine are much. I can't really tell so much in this in this top. Normally, I'm the one to crash But my but my um. My boobs are... My producer going daytime, funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my boobs are much bigger than they, than they used to be. And when I, was, when I was a young actress and I had absolutely nothing, I used to always, you know, want to have a boob job. Now, I'd actually like some sucked, sucked out of them, just like a tube and then put a bit in sherry and they're like that. <laughs> How did you grow them? <laughs> She's just said. Yes, she it was. It grow was. Bags. Yeah, it was like grow bags. It, well, I think it's because because I'm on my oestrogen for being a bit of a nut job. Then I've, I've got that to my head. That's just made my made my my boobs. Me? My Is boobs it? grow. They put um, men who want sex changes on to grow their own boobs. <laughs> no, that's testosterone. No, I don't. No, no, that's not the male hormone. hormone. I think when when men are trying to kind of you know become. It's you know, Martha oh, well, instead maybe. of Arthur. They have a bit of that. Maybe that's what happened to you, Dan. You know, but, you know, that, but I also did have some of that testosterone as well when my libido was low, but that just made my voice lower and grew a beard. <laughs> you so that's quite normal for yeah, you. Yeah, just call me Dennis Healy. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, though? Don't you do that terrible... Oh, I love it. It's, a, it's wrong to do because I, I really am a firm believer in if, if you're not happy with your a body and, and then you're doing <laughs> or if only they were that firm. <laughs> but if you are unhappy with your body and it, and it makes you happy to kind of go under the knife and get something done and it's, it's done safely, then good for you. Mm. But I can't help but look at women who've had their boobs done, you know, especially the ones that kind of wear them. The, mm. yeah, yes. They're all on show. And I judge them and it's not a good judgment. I do no. think less of them and I, I don't, don't know think, why. I don't think the melon look is good, do no. you? No. That's the one so I'm talking about. Funny Thing. But I think I think it would be fantastic to be able to test drive them and have them and walk about in them. I mm. And I think the most wonderful thing is if you Colin will know, but if you've got boobs and you can wear <laughs> a dress without straps, you know that one. Yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah. That, and you've got that little thing going on there. Do I think you, would you like really... you see? You think that you yes. think you've no boobs and they're a nightmare to wear. When you've got big boobs, strapless dresses are a nightmare. Why? As I found out at a TV Quick Awards that we were at. Because you spend your life hoisting the dress up because these keep trying to escape. Um, <laughs> I, just, I just always wanted, because even when I was young and I had smaller boobs, they were just, I've never, I've never ever been able to just look in the mirror and go, mmm, nice boobs. Because they've always been, when I take my bra off, there. And all I would want is them just to be there yeah. of their own, of their own accord. Yeah, yeah, but you know but when you were not, younger... And when, then you when wash you, your hair like you that, know, it's like those spaniel's ears hanging down. <laughs> <laughs> 
and you had to you had to stuff your bra with things. Do you remember that? Because you wanted it, you wanted somebody to think you got bigger, and you stuff it with toilet roll you or anything. No, really. I used to do it with Tim's socks, but I used to get Ooh. a pair of his socks, clean socks, not oh. worn ones. <laughs> and I used to do to give myself a cleavage. But then I'd go out and get uh, and, and and get drunk, and then just go, <laughs> it's only socks, and then I'd have like one like that. <laughs> And you've always got lumps where the sock ends and it's got buttons on it or something. <laughs> Shay, have you ever wondered what you might look like if you were a I'd little more gifted up front? I'd love to see me with some. We've done it for you. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, they're bigger than Colleen. Oh, they're massive. Oh, they say it's not a good look, is it? No, I think that's not good. I do think, you know, personally, and this is nothing against you, Carl, I quite like um, having little ones. Do well, you? it's just as well, because that's what you've been given. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get over it. I am getting over it. They are yeah. fabulous, though. Thanks. You must hurt your knees. Okay, time for a break, <laughs> but in just a minute, ultimatum. <laughs>